I'm exchanging the fluid and doing a flush on this fourth generation GM 1500 series chassis. And uh, to drain the radiator, there's a pet cock at the bottom of the radiator on the right hand side, passenger side. Uh, you can access it through the inner fender liner without taking anything apart or from the bottom. I've installed a 3 8 inside diameter uh, piece of clear tubing down into a drain pan to drain it. And then I'm opening the valve and then I'll also take the cap off of the coolant reservoir uh, to help it drain a little faster. Then once it's drained, I'm going to uh, go ahead and just check the condition of this original fluid. And it still looks really good. Like I say, just coming up on five years. Still has full protect protection range, minus 34 up to 265. Um, and then if you look, compare that to concentrate coolant um, that's not 50-50 mix, uh, you don't have the same protection range, so this needs to be a mix. But to do an initial flush and to get all the fluid out of the system, I'm just going to add some water and also a flush treatment um, that's going to kind of scrub the system and um, break up you know, any rust or anything that's forming and degrease it and clean it out really good. So adding that and adding up water until it... Uh, it's filled up and then uh, once I filled it to capacity I want this fluid to cycle through the entire system not just the radiator so I got to get it up to temperature uh, so you're gonna start the vehicle turn the heater on full blast take it for a drive for three to six hours um, for a really good scrub otherwise you can do converter stalls in the shop or garage and this is where you put it in gear foot on the brake rev it up to 1500 rpm or less and then back down and um, to idle for 10 seconds on 10 seconds off and that's a really quick way to bring your vehicle temperature up um, we're looking for the thermostat to open so um, the middle of the range you know about 210 degrees Fahrenheit on the gauge indicating you got a good chance of the thermostat being open and then I'm gonna drain that and then um, start cycling more water through the system to flush out all the treatment and the remaining um, coolant that's in the system and you want clean drinkable water is what GM calls for uh, for mixing with your 50-50 mix or to do this kind of cleansing flush cycle this process of adding water and draining it and bringing it up to temperature I'm going to repeat several times until uh, I have just clean clear fluid coming out um, and then I'll know that I have water in the total system the engine the heater core uh, the radiator so eventually after doing several washes and cycles here I just have clear water coming out so at this point I begin to add uh, concentrate straight dex cool because the capacity of the systems about three and a half gallons um, I'm gonna add dex cool but I'm also gonna continue to drain um, the water out which will be a semi mix with with dex cool and water but it'll be mostly water so I'm gonna add coolant drain it add coolant drain it and to ensure that I don't have air in the system um, with it running or not running I'm, I'm kind of opening the radiator or correction the the coolant reservoir cap a little bit and with threaded a threaded cap you can open it partially without it spraying or scalding you um, which is nice and you can um, pressurize and depressurize the system that way so here I am draining a little bit of that water semi dex cool mix and then I continue to add dex cool and when I've got two full gallons of the dex cool in I have a, a good degree of confidence that I'm cl getting close to my 50 50 mix where the total system capacity is uh, three and a half gallons shy of four gallons if I get two gallons of dex cool in there um, and then kind of set my final level with just water I'm going to be where I want to be so I'm, I'm draining I'm adding I'm trying to um, get that thermostat to open up and I finally do here on this cycle you know I can see my coolant drop substantially so I continue to add and work towards getting the full two gallons of concentrate uh, dex cool in there start it up run it again pulled in a little bit more with that cycle running it and uh, leave the pressure 
add the rest of the deck six. I finally got the full two gallons in there, um, which is what I want. I want to get those two full gallons of deck school in there, and then I can work on setting the final capacity with water by draining a little if I need to, adding more water, um, doing some more converter stalls. And now the level is really close because as I take the cap on and off, I'm not having to add very much to get it there. It's, it's staying close to where it needs to be. As you run the engine, that water pump's going to move water, and you're going to see the level in the reservoir rise and fall in that surge tank, which is normal. But when it's at idle, idle and um, you should see it at just the normal uh, line. And now the capacity's staying where it needs to stay. I'm going to do a quick engine wash and clean up any leftover residual coolant that I might have spilled. With the final level looking good, I'll go take it for a drive, let that mix in some more, then come back and recheck the level and uh, see what kind of a mix we have. So capacity is still right, uh, pop off the cap, check the, the protection range, minus 34 to 265, which is ideal for Dexcool. I appreciate you watching, I hope you like and subscribe.